MyFitnessPal is the world's most popular health and fitness app. We make it fast and easy for our users to track their food, exercise, and activity as they work towards a health goal. With the help of our community of over 120 million users, we've collected the largest crowdsourced food and nutrition database in the world. When we talked to our users, one thing we heard over and over was how challenging it was for them to make healthy choices when they were eating at restaurants. So we set out to build a restaurant logging feature that would ensure our users were set up for success when they were eating out. Restaurant logging introduced location-based food logging into MyFitnessPal. A user can simply search for a restaurant nearby, find its menu that's populated by a third-party service, and they will then see nutrition information for each menu item to log directly to their diary. When we were building this feature, we realized that aside from major chains with publicly verifiable nutrition data, we were not guaranteed to have exact matches in our food database for each menu item a user might want from local restaurants. Simply searching for these unknown menu items in our database proved challenging since food names are typically short, can vary in structure, and are highly context dependent. The solution we devised to this short text matching problem is to use a two-stage architecture to provide the best possible guess of relevant results in our database for each menu item. First, we generate the optimum query to be taken from the menu item's information using a Markov decision process, or MDP, and use the generated query to search our database. Then we pass the search results through a deep learning network to determine whether each result that appears is relevant to the menu item's original text. Here's how this looks in practice. We take the restaurant's name, the menu section header, and the menu item itself and pass them through the MDP, which determines what words need to be kept, added, or removed from the string. Take, for example, this food. To a human reading the menu, it's obvious that sourdough under specialty breads means sourdough bread. But if we were just to pass the raw strings into our model, that context may be lost. Using signals from TFIDF and user click histories, the MDP breaks the menu name down to Panera Bread Sourdough Breads. This result is much closer to how a human might search the MyFitnessPal database for a match. In the second stage of the algorithm, we determine if returned matches by the optimal query are actually relevant results. First, we convert each word in the menu's raw text strings and each word in the result candidate into pre-trained word to VEC vectors, creating two numeric matrices for query and result. Both are then fed into a convolutional neural network to decompose the matrices into a smaller, dense vector, which are at that point merged together and put through a series of fully connected layers to predict the final classes of relevant or irrelevant. The final product of the system keeps only the relevant results as potential matches to the menu item. Finally, relevant foods are sorted in descending order with respect to the prediction confidence. The effectiveness of the proposed model is shown by real-world experiments when compared to some of the existing machine learning techniques. We're excited that this project used data science to meet a real need for MyFitnessPal users and had a meaningful impact in helping them reach their health and fitness goals.